Hello everyone, and welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. So, we are back in Elk Island, and first walk of the season, I guess. Well, springtime season, I should say. I'm gonna do the Amiskwuche Trail. Just a quick look through the trees, and you can see the water level actually looks quite low. Like I mentioned in my previous video, it's like the uh, forest fires are still still out there. Not here, fortunately. Very fortunately. But uh, it's not good. I spotted a Canada goose searching for greens to eat in the shallows of the pond. Which way are we going to go? I don't know, but I'm really glad I can look at this screen now with the microphones. I think we'll go right. We always go right. Where do you want to go? To the right. To the right it was. I enjoyed seeing the young plants sprouting up along the trail. My favorite places to stop here. I sat on the bench briefly, then ended up using it as a makeshift tripod for the camera. The Big Beaver Lodge is always a sight to see the birds on the lake. It looks like a couple of geese have taken up residence and are enjoying the sun. We carried on to the boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to replace it soon. Boardwalk has definitely seen some shifting over the past winter. As I walked, I looked at all of last year's cattails, crisp and dry. At first glance, it looks like there's not much to see, but some of you know that I like to look for the hidden details. I found a pond snail. They look like baby Yoda swaddled up. There's me again. <laughs> I also saw my reflection. And I noticed the vegetation was moving around with the flow. And then... Oh my goodness. Oh, big leech. <laughs> Wow. Lyndon braved the water with his GoPro. Ah, he is reaching out. Oh my goodness. I wonder how they work, how they find stuff. God, they just search around, eh? Leeches find prey by following vibrations, but they also have simple eyes that can see passing shadows. Scientists have found that young leeches will use both methods to find prey, but older leeches rely more on sensing vibrations. I followed Lyndon's example and stuck my camera in for some underwater views. There are over 600 species of leeches around the world, and at least 45 of those live in Canada. I also noticed some other bugs in the water, like some scuds, a type of crustacean. And I also saw some caddisfly larvae with their mobile homes of sticks and other plant debris. It says it's submersible. I hope they're right. <laughs> but the leeches really were fascinating, especially how they move, switching from swimming in a wave-like motion to the classic inchworm style of movement. The more we looked, the more we saw. It definitely convinced me not to go wading in the water. Not all leeches suck blood. There are a number of species that live off of decayed plant material at the bottom, and others that prefer to digest the soft tissues of the body instead of the blood. There were also bubbles of gas that floated up to the surface, but they were hard to catch on video. Before we left the pond, I saw two ravens enjoying a flight over the trees. We 
We moved to another area and were able to see a variety of ducks in the distance. Buffleheads, mallards, lesser scop, all were busy floating around, looking for food, socializing, or just taking a nap. Our next stop was a small pond that had a lot of wood frogs in it, and something else. Commonly known as a dock spider or raft spider, this species has hairs on the body and feet that disperse the surface tension of the water and allows them to walk on the water. Fortunately, it didn't seem to bother the frogs, and vice versa. They look like they're stuck. One just came up. <laughs> way through the slop. I was amused to spot so many frogs hiding in plain sight. We also stopped to listen to a couple of squeaky trees. And I spotted a hammock spider clinging to the underside of a stick. There were also some spring flowers blooming, like these Canada violets. And this strawberry flower. A wood frog attempted to disappear in the leaf litter. We reached another pond and saw a couple of pairs of lesser scop. The one male seemed to want to go for a swim while everyone wanted to sunbathe. There's always that one in the group who doesn't want to get out of the pool. As we watched, I saw one goose swim into view, and then heard a sudden commotion of honking. I'm not sure who won that fight, but this goose sounded mournful.
In yet another marsh, I spotted a song sparrow singing. This one seemed to warm up his voice before giving the full song. This female yellow warbler seemed to pause and listen before flying on. And of course, there's some red-winged blackbirds in the marshy pond as well. This one looks like a juvenile male. scary. Not much of a viewpoint to anything either. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Amiskuche Trail at Elk Island National Park. As always, thanks for watching.